All right, welcome back. Uh, some dark skies out there in parts of the state. Also, we've got some blue sky in other areas. 58 degrees now. Remember yesterday, we're up in the low 80s. Wind gusting to 40 miles per hour around the Helena Valley. Great Falls, some darker skies here as well. Some winds gusting higher than 31 miles per hour. And we've got a temperature of 62 right now. A little cooler in the western part of the state. Butte America at 55, Kalispell 53. And we're still in the 70s in eastern Montana, but even here those temperatures will uh, continue to cool off. Look at that wind right along and east of the Continental Divide. Butte north wind at about uh, 14 miles per hour. Glasgow's still out ahead of the front. We're seeing more of an east to southeast wind, but pretty good wind will be working its way across the north central and eastern part of the state here later tonight and the wind will continue through the night tonight for uh, the continental divide the rocky mountain front and out across the plains and then tomorrow a blustery day we'll have a lot of sunshine so it'll still be pretty nice just a bit on the breezy side some gusts up to maybe 30 miles per hour and then friday a little breeze but lighter wind we don't have to really deal with the wind uh, for quite some time. But uh, there you can see the storm system moving in. Showers, thunderstorms, a little snow in the higher terrain. Not much around the Helena area. A couple of sprinkles out there. Looks like a little steadier light rain on the divide and west of the divide. Great Falls have had some decent showers come through. Looks like right up along the Missouri there. Had a little shower, but uh, boy, some good storms pushed through the Highwood area earlier. Rocky Mountain Front, East Glacier area, calming down for the time being, but look at that. Yeah, this is the line of storms that came through around Great Falls and Highwood and Fort Benton, and that's pushing up over the Bear Paw Mountains right now. Haver's been hearing a few rumbles of thunder, and off towards the south, we've got some showers that are crossing off of the Little Belt Mountains through Judith Basin County and pushing in the direction of Denton and Lewistown, and still a little energy, but mainly be looking at showers and a few storms up along the northern part of the state here uh, tonight. Some scattered showers from the Midwest down to Texas and then also got some pretty heavy rain on the southeast coast there. So looking ahead, Haver right along the high line, some showers and thunderstorms continuing for the next few hours. A couple of flakes of snow maybe up there in Glacier National Park and Phillips Valley counties uh, looking at some storms. Blaine County through the late evening tonight. And tomorrow, mostly sunny. A little on the blustery side, a little on the cooler side, but something you'd expect for late September. Maybe a couple of showers again up there around Babb and St. Mary tomorrow afternoon. And then heading into Friday, some sunshine, but clouds will increase late ahead of the next storm system that will be approaching here. Uh, really for Saturday. So a little cooler air moving in now. This weekend will not be a warm weekend. It does get a little warm around Tuesday of next week, but late next week, an even cooler push of air comes in, and that's when we could be talking about lowering snow levels. Tonight, 45 around Great Falls, 43 around the Helena area. Most areas will be in the 30s and 40s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny in the 60s for Friday. Still in the 60s, a couple 70s out there with increasing clouds. Saturday, scattered showers, a few isolated thunderstorms, some higher elevation snow. And Sunday will be a little unsettled, we'll call it here. Does not look like a major storm coming in here this weekend, but we will have scattered showers and storms.